They kicked me off Rikers Island. So we do not want this brother on Rikers Island because he was a menace. Right, because right. to me, I'm, I, I, you know, back then, I wanted, I'm on Rikers Island. I don't got no bail. I, I'm facing two murders, kidnapping, weapon charges. Guess what happened? Now I'm a menace. Because mm -hmm. Brian had uh, associated himself with probably the most ruthless and notorious cocaine uh, crack enterprise in the city. Uh, that being Howard Happy Mason and Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols. NYPD rookie police officer was murdered, executioner style. And as I'm listening to that, I'm like, whoa. You actually dealt with Brian Goyes with him, huh? I dealt with him years ago, back in the uh, 80s, hey, what early was 90s. I was with where he was arrested by my partner back in those days for several murders himself. That bad. I was given to me by a police officer in New York called Matt Byrne, whose son was gunned down by these drug dealers up there in New York City. Lays was probably within the top 10 people in, in the city, but I'm going to say that he was probably one of the, the top two or three in Brooklyn. You know, uh, drug dealers. Um, and, and control the drug organization. And you know what I did? When I got the phone, I told my man, the next time we see him, he's out of here. Yeah. Less than 12 hours, that nigga was dead. Yeah, this is the that? second person you murdered? Mm, no. Because, like, right now, if you're going by the timeline, by that yeah. time, there's a few more before him. You know, I heard so many good things about you. What I really like is, uh, I know you're a tough guy. And I've known that for quite a while and you changed your life and you're coming around and, you, and you're right. We're from New York, uh, we're New Yorkers. No matter what color you are, no matter what religion you are, no matter what you are, you know, we're New Yorkers. Well, he was a, a drug kingpin himself. He was a drug lord himself back in those days. And uh, he operated out of Brooklyn, East New York. And, uh, you know, he committed a lot of uh, violent acts himself. So if anybody knows the streets, I mean, he knows the streets. Mm -hmm. Who tut, tutting them? Yeah, you gotta yeah. worry about them guys. But we only had to worry about those guys and Vanderveer and stuff. You know, we all knew um, Glaze and Tut and all those guys. Yeah, yeah. I know Glaze, Supreme Team. What up, Glaze? You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, inside the mind of a killer, the Brian Glaze Gibbs story. Okay, I'll check that out. Uh, at 25 automatic, the Shower Posse had submachine. They had Uzi, they had machine guns or whatever. I'm talking about they had big 45, nine millimeters. Listen here, you little knucklehead, it's not worth it. I'm talking about. Yo, Glaze, I just got to my favorite part of your book. This is Out of Prison as a New Person. So, page 308, May of 1998. That's actually when I had the pleasure of meeting you and we worked together on that 10.30 to 3 a.m. shift, which was crazy. Um, my respect level just went up like 10 more notches for you. So I knew about your past. I knew about everything that had gone on. But what I didn't know is you were going from $40,000 a day to, I think we were making $12 an hour there, that night shift, something crazy. So for you to be able to have that work ethic of going from slanging easy rocks to slanging heavy packages and uh, working that night shift and just being the positive person you were that whole time and offering encouragement to everybody that worked that shift. Especially athletes, right? So athletes always want to be buff and they want to make sure they have a lot of energy and they want to run, blah, blah, blah. Panoxol was good for them and that's how it all started, you know. It started with the men that had erectile dysfunction. It started with the guys who wanted to run and buff up. So the, 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 the whole industry was surrounded with that, but they called it something else. There's a lot of names for it. And then some brilliant scientist says, wow. God, if we can do nitrous oxide for those things, then why can't we do it for heart? Why can't we do it for the liver? Why can't we do it for blood flow? Why can't we do it for the vessels in the brain? Why can't we do it for the vessels in the legs? You see what I'm saying? So it's it's a really good whole body supplement. Say that you always want to, because I said it's a, a driver, I the most profound thing that I found in using this 
is allowing a person to realize that it opens up the doorway to perfect health. And the reason why it does that is because it's the first thing you need and the second thing you need is nutrients. So if it's a door opener, you have a very good chance of getting a better health and longevity. And that's the key to life, oxygen.